Today is the feast day of St. Mark. The Gospel of Mark is attributed to this extraordinary evangelist who was a companion of Paul and Peter and was one of the 70 that Christ sent out two by two to baptize, to, to visit, to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. Thus, Mark the Evangelist. And in today's scriptural passage, which comes from Mark's gospel, we look at the last chapter, the 16th chapter. And it is at this point Christ is risen from the dead and he spent his 40 days amongst all of humankind and is about to return to from whence he had come back to his father. And he gathers the apostles together and, and talks to them and tells them that they are to go out and baptize and, and spread the good news of Jesus Christ, preaching all that they had seen, all that they had heard, all that they had witnessed. It is an interesting time because at this point, Christ begins to tell them that they will be able to note those who have been baptized because Christ then says they will be speaking new languages. They will be able to pick up serpents and, and not get bitten and eat food or things and, and not be poisoned and drive out demons. Go and spread the good news is the the story that Christ tells. And then after his risen, it is interesting that the last scriptural passage, the last few verses says that Christ then worked with them and he had returned to his father. And yet after he had returned home to heaven, he would, then scripture tells us he then worked with them and they were seeing evidence of his working with them. <laughs> So it's not that we have to go out and do dangerous things. See, there is evidence of God's presence every single place we go. We don't know if we necessarily drive out demons. We don't know if we eat food that could harm us, and it doesn't. We don't know if we've walked by snakes in the grass and not get gotten bitten. There's all kinds of things that we might be of benefit of and may not know it. But there is one thing that we do know. That is, we are to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. That is what happens. And in the process of living the good news of Jesus Christ, all kinds of evidence reveals itself. We might drive out those, those, those difficult things that happen in everyone's life, those times of mourning, those times of sadness, those, those times of betrayal, just by being there and driving those kinds of, of illnesses out of others simply because we are there living a life of grace and joy, spreading the good news spreading the baptismal understanding of every day we are to live our life that way. <laughs> we are, I have been told that there is no prayer in schools. Well, I disagree. Every time you go into a school, there's prayer. You are prayer. The way you live your life is prayer. When you walk into work, there's prayer. When you go to the grocery store, there's prayer. When you're driving down the street, there's prayer. All of these moments, these opportunities to pray, drive out demons. Don't allow them to take up space in someone's heart or someone's home. Every time you live a life of goodness and kindness, you might cause someone to speak new languages, new languages of love, new languages of temperament, to new languages of forgiveness. <laughs> These scriptural passages are true today. And you, by living a baptized life, will see the evidence of that. Because you see, Christ will be working with you. And remember, every morning when you awaken, ask God, Lord, 
What are we going to do today?